it's Ryan! <laughs> How does all of this feel? I have no words, no words whatsoever. You know, um, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm, I've, I've been saying all day, acting all cool, I'm not bothered. And, you know, me and Kirsty have been really cool about it. And then I said, are you nervous? She went, yeah, I said, I'm nervous, you know, and it's got the better of us. And, you know, I, I didn't think about winning, but now I'm here. I am completely uh, overwhelmed on, on a different scale. I can't thank you guys enough for this. Um, I'd like to start with a couple of little fun things. First one being, you've just seen it. That kiss that Kirsty Alley gave you. I, need, I needed that. I've not had my missus for three and a half weeks. I needed that kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's allowed, right? Because it's Kirsty. Of course allowed. it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, second one is, and I've just been given this note by somebody, um, that before the series started, you said you wanted to beat both of your brothers who came third in Love Island and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, listen. I'm the, I, I, I'm, the, I'm the big brother, and I've got to show him how it's done. And you know, <laughs> I, 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 come, I come here to prove a point to them and them only. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, okay, now let's get serious. Why do you think you have been picked by the public to win this? Oh. Um... You know, it's so difficult because when you're in there, you know, it, I think it's a totally different um, show from what you see on television, from the, from the real life that, that we go through. Um, you put, like, 24 hours worth of real time into one hour, and um, it's very hard to judge on, on what you, you know, uh, put up reason for me being here now. Um, because, as we said, you know, the people that I came on the last part of the journey with, um, you know, are all winners. Mm. And I, I looked at them exactly like probably they look at me and, you know, and that's why they're all sat there. Um, you know, genuine, normal people. And I'm hoping that's one of the, the facts that will come into play because, you know, I am a normal boy and um, we get, you know, a status of celebrity. But that's not what we really are. And uh, in that house, that's taken away from us. Yeah. And we had that together. I think that is a massive part of it. I think also another huge part of it was, I suppose it was ironic that the theme of the show this year was I have a storm and you found yourself in a whopping great storm whilst in the house uh, with Roxanne. We have some bits that we would like to show you just so that, just so that you can have clarity. Do you want to see it or not? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look closely. Here you go. Everyone saw it back. I can wear me, no problem. Ryan, yeah. I've got a clean towel. I, my clean, I've got a little towel that I'm going to use. Oh! Woman beater. Go on, what? Did it, sorry. I was going to ask if you want your washing on, but I might shrink them instead. I might shrink them. Big brother, that hurt. Can you call me to the diary room, please? Can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. It's not okay. Um, so we obviously haven't shown you that to upset you, but we really want to know what it was like for you during that that period of time in there. Um, it was totally unexpected. Um, it was a sign of affection mm. that I've used on, you know, Gabby, um, you know, the boys, um, and unexpected because there was nothing in it. Um, and as it unravelled, um, as it became bigger and bigger, I think the thing that scared me the most of the whole thing is when Ben told me that she couldn't stay in the room with me because she yeah. was scared. Um, that, for me, rang alarm bells and then the game became real life for me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I don't know what they showed or how much they showed, but, you know, I did break. And we saw that. Well, we, we you know, I, I had no choice. I was a scared little boy um, that was thinking did you about... Feel? Um, the, the place in itself is lonely anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, these are people that you grow a friendship with, but they're not your friends and your family from the start. Mm. So your trust is in a different place. You know, um, the, the one thing I hold on to in there was, was Sally, because she, you know, mothered me from day one, mm. and I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. Um, uh, and, and I'm not, you know, picking one person out. It was just at that moment that was what I needed. Uh, but, you know, we all know how something like that can stick on a man. Yeah. And 
sometimes it can be done in the right way, sometimes it can be done in the, in, in the wrong way. And this, I felt, was done in the wrong way. Mm. And I just wanted out. I just wanted to get out and be with my manager who could maybe protect me because I felt like I was going to be, you know, getting a call from the police very soon, that I was, um, you know, doing something untoward to a woman. And yeah. that's not me. And I'm glad that for once in my life, as much as I was scared about this whole experience, I was glad that we had 24-hour surveillance on us yeah. because the point was proven. Yeah. Um, and I, I have to say, Lauren, you carried yourself with such dignity. Honestly, you have had the most outstanding amount of support... Really? ..from your family, from your friends, from your co-workers, from really? her co-workers... That's ..supporting amazing. you. And the viewers, because everybody saw it. Everybody. How, how much of a relief was it for you when you heard those chants? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Eviction. Big Brother doesn't want you to hear anything, and, and I understand that because, you know, they want to keep you isolated because they don't want you to have an opinion on something. Um, but for me, I have to thank everyone because it was clarification that I needed. Yeah. Because as much as I was so unhappy that Ben was leaving mm -hmm. us, you know, he was a big part of that family. Um, I think, you know, for selfish reasons, I needed to hear the public say that name because otherwise yeah. I wouldn't have been able to relax in there. Um, and so I thank the public for that. Yeah. She has... Um, she's done a couple of interviews since then. One was here with me. Um, her, <laughs> her line was, she got it massively wrong after watching it. Well, I appreciate that. Do you ever think you can forgive her? Because I would imagine that is something that would not be easy. You know, for me, you know, I have the best network of family and yeah. friends. You know, my, I've got the best mates in the world. Some here today. My brothers are my life. That's what's important to me. You know, if, if this person has an issue and, you know, uh, a, a misunderstanding, you know, who, who am I to sit there and judge, you know? Forgiveness is a big thing. And this place is a horrible, horrible place if you get it wrong. And I don't personally want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, uh, uh, if she wants sort of forgiveness and it makes her feel better, then, you know, I would rather give her that because I think she's been, you know, punished enough by the public and people around her. More credit to you, Ryan, honestly. Never, ever, ever huh, has somebody deserved to win this show as much as you. Emma, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry if any of your time in there was tainted by that incident, but you have been fantastic and you thoroughly deserve it.